What is going on you guys, this is Taikichi coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be unboxing the Elgato Stream Deck. Now basically last week and last video I unboxed the HD60 Pro, I set it up. If you guys haven't seen that video, it will be down in the description below. And today I have the Stream Deck, so we're going to be checking this out. So if you guys don't know what the Stream Deck is, it's basically, it's self-explanatory kind of, it's for streaming mainly and you can set all these types of uh, screens up and it's like this little dock and it has like 15 little screens displays and you can set it up to do multiple things while you're streaming so you can do it to uh change from a from your gameplay to an mission to uh being right back stuff like that you can also provide like gifs and all those types of things like when you get like a really cool kill you provide like a gif or something or let's say if you want to tweet out even you could like literally press a button and it'll tweet out what you want it to do instantly and it's really crazy you could do all those types of things and it's honestly insane but not only does it work for streaming like obs and exploit but it also works with video editing and also graphic design so like photoshop and premiere pro it can help you with editing and all those types of stuff so you could literally uh use shortcuts and you can have it in like a little display so you know exactly what you're pressing on you press on it and it does it instantly for you in uh, editing and uh, graphic design and also when you're streaming you know you change the mission gifs all those types of things and it's a small little profile and usually people like have like a different mechanical keyboard they like tape pictures of what they want up and they set it to shortcuts to make it into one button and that's really time consuming and this one is a low profile it's really small and it has literally 15 lcd screens it's crazy and you set it up through the software and it's just amazing so we're going to be taking a look at this we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be setting this up and we're going to see how this performs all right you guys so we got the elgato stream deck right here evolve your content and we got the stream deck over here you can see the little displays the lcd screens on uh, this side we got nothing and then moving on we got in the box we got the stream deck we got the adjustable stand and also a quick start guide and then over here on the back you can see the software over here really cool customization on your terms uh studio power at your fingertips you got the stream deck with the lcd screens you can see some gifs uh twitch all those types of other stuff compatible with your preferences so it works with the elgato software twitter obs twitch youtube and more adjustable stand you can see the adjustable stand right here and there are some requirements so it works with windows 10 64 bit mac os 10 dot 11 or more and then it got 15 customization lcd screens uh usb 2.0 i wish it was usb 3.0 for that better data transfer speed but you know it's whatever um doesn't really matter and then in the box you know all that and then the size and all that so let's get right into this let's stop talking and oh my god that thing looks beautiful okay so let's get with this quick start guy very quickly very nice, looks really cool, simple to use. We're gonna move this over to the side. And then we got the USB 2.0 and also the Stream Deck itself. So let's get this. Okay, look at this, palm in your hand. Literally, it fits in the palm of your hand. It looks really cool. We got the 15, oh my God, this feels like, feels like a nice gel feeling. It's not like tactile or anything, so it won't catch in the mic or anything like that. But it has that nice gel feeling and you could tell which one you're pressing. It feels really good, I, I really like it got USB 2.0 pretty long cable and then we got the adjustable stand itself and then looks like a warranty so let's move this over to the side let's look at this adjustable stand so if we lift this up you can see that there's two over here so this is one and then this is another one so we could adjust it however way you want make it pretty low oh this does not move because the rubberized grips in this one as well has some rubberized grip so we just dock it here see you could just press it however way you want you're all set you're ready to stream or if you want it to go lower even lower than that then you could bring the big one up and then lower this put those small ones and you are all set now it's even lower and there's multiple settings to fit your preference and now you can press it however way you want so really cool i cannot wait to try this out so now what we're going to be taking a look at is we're going to be setting this up we're going to be looking at the software we're going to see how it is we're going to be messing around with it and let's see how this bad boy is all right you guys so now what we're going to do is we're going to install the stream deck software so if we go to google chrome and then we go to elgadogaming.com and we go to the top right to downloads there's an option for game capture for windows and stream deck for windows so what we're going to do we can download the version 1.2.0 since this is basically new there's no beta or anything like that it requires windows 10 64 bit or later 
and then you can see it's compatible with OBS Studio 18.0.1 or later and then the game capture 3.50 or later so basically right after you install it it says click next all of that stuff and then basically you could just open it up you don't have to restore your PC or anything like that and then we got it right here and I also got my camera aiming at it so now if we click on the welcome something will pop up on my other screen and then I click yes and then basically it just brings me to this website it says congratulations watch the video below to get started then use key creator to make stream deck completely yours so that's pretty insane so now if we minimize this and then there's multiple stuff we got the 15 lcd screens here and then in the software as well same thing so then we got the flashback recording this is all the game captures so scene one two three uh, live commentary as well. You can enable it or dis disable it. You could tweet out something if you want You could put your message right here, and then there's a certain amount of characters. So that's awesome You got your stream you got your welcome with the website You got the record button and then you got multiple options as well And then you got a screenshot you got a twitch chat message as well You can send the chat if you want a slow chat viewers. This is all the pre uh, the preset and this one is a folder so now if we click on this one you can see that there's other stuff like the multimedia like go back pause and play go forward mute unmute volume up up and down so then we can mute which is on my other screen and then if we go back you see i could click it from here and then it'll change here so then if i click back pretty much that's how it is and then there's multiple other stuff here on the side so then we got scene recording screenshots flashback recording stream live commentaries all the stuff in the game capture software and then we got tippy stream which is scene element and then we got obs studio which is scene mixer audio source which is really cool we got twitter like send a tweet we got twitch like chat message viewers play ads stream talent games sub chat slow chat always chat emote chat all the types of chats and then we got system like you can add a website a hotkey switch um another hotkey open open an application or something like that or a file and then multimedia so then what you do is for example if I want to replace let's say for example if I want to do uh, let's do the open you just click on it you drag it and then you put it in the middle it says do you really want to replace this this configuration is yes replace and then you give it a title you could give it anything you want and then it'll show it in here and in real time on the uh, stream deck which is really cool and then you can set it to be on the bottom in the middle or on the top of the text and then you can click the app or file and then you could go to any other thing you want and once you press it you can basically it'll basically open it so that's really cool and then we can do other stuff like let's say uh, let's do something with Twitter like you could just drag in even though there's already a tweet and then if you hold it there for a little bit it creates a folder and then now you can see here that the middle one is now a folder and then that opens up other stuff and then you can put even more stuff which is pretty insane and then if you want to just go back you just do that and then you could just make it into your own put title your account you link your accounts and then your message very simple so there's multiple stuff to do and even on here you could literally i'm gonna move it here you can literally lower the brightness if it's too bright for you you could dim it all the way down and it's like it's basically unseeable now so then i can bring it back up halfway or all the way brightness check for updates uh you can link your accounts like twitter twitch and tp stream and you could put your layouts like you could literally reset the entire thing or you can import your your configurations or export your configuration so that is really cool so that's basically the stream deck setting like this is the software and the hardware this is literally your fucking this is your friend when you're streaming and also if you could do all types of stuff so you can have multiple folders here one could work with let's say adobe premiere pro the other one could work with photoshop and then the other one could work with your stream so you could have it organized the way that you want however way that you want there's endless endless things you can have folders in all of these and they'll honestly be insane but th literally the possibilities is endless and then you can even upload you can even make your own like images and then put them in there which is really cool so like you can even like add an image if you want from just double clicking and then go into whatever it is you just, you just gotta make sure that the size of the image is good so it's really awesome and literally you can make it unique you can make it like they said like your own like it's yours basically
So there you guys have it. That is the unboxing and setup of the Elgato Stream Deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this. I'm honestly going to be messing around with this and then I'll most likely have a review video when the, within about a month or so. I'm going to be setting everything up. I'm going to be streaming a lot more. So if you guys want to see me stream down in the description below. And if you guys haven't seen the Elgato HD60 Pro unboxing and setup, that will be down in the description below as well. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. As always, it's TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!